We're back in Mississippi, and Lauren is making a quick stop at Babalu Taco and Tapas in Jackson. Yeah, she'll be there in like 15, 20 minutes maybe. I'm just grabbing food at Babalu. She has no idea that while she's grabbing her food, I see you walking my way. Trouble is just around the corner, ready to grab her stuff. Within seconds, a thief is reaching into her car and helping himself to her personal belongings. Burglary in broad daylight. We filmed the same scenario once before in New York. We had a white actor and a black actor playing our thieves. At the end of the day, our white actor was stopped only one out of the five times. Wow, I got it all. While our black actor was stopped three out of the four times. Hey! Here we are, stand we are. Show me your hands. Now we're 1,200 miles to the south, putting it to the test in Jackson, Mississippi. Will reactions and results be the same? We've dressed today's actors in the same outfit, from head to toe. How often will they get away with the goods? If you see a thief stealing from someone's car, what would you do? We get our car into place. Here comes Gabriel now, eh? Right away, we see that these women aren't afraid to make a lot of noise when they see something wrong. Tell Gabriel to run for his life. <laughs> what happened, ladies? Uh, this black guy just stole this lady's purse and stuff out of her car. And I hollered at those guys over there, stop him. He's stealing her stuff. And the chase begins. The women take separate routes in hot pursuit of our thief. And we've got them covered from all angles. One races through the parking lot, while this one searches behind the restaurant. He took her purse and something else out of her car. What did he look like? Did you see him? It was brown face, medium skin. Did you see that guy with the, bra the navy blue hoodie? With the thief nowhere to be found, the women return to their table. Well, I know offense, but I wouldn't leave my car running with the windows down either. You know, that's not real <laughs> spot. There he is, right there. All right, who should we should drink it, right? That's what I'm talking about, girl! <laughs> <laughs> what happened here? Oh, my gosh. Why get involved? Why get involved? Because it could have been us. But you could have gotten hurt. Uh, well, we could have, but we didn't. You didn't even think about that? No, we didn't think about it. Especially her. She ran further than I did. But you were yeah. the loudest. I am the loudest. I have been known to be the loudest. I'll have you serve it right out. I'm John, the assistant manager. We run it again. And now, will this group of dentists be as loud? We have action. They're all looking. And as soon as they see what's going on here, they jump right in. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Hey, sir. Like a superhero in scrubs, this customer takes matters and a chair into his own hands. Hey, 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 hey. whoa, whoa, whoa. Our what, 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 what would you do security this rushes in. This is my stuff. This, this is mine. What are you doing? Why are you this, carrying this, a purse? Uh, uh, have a good day. Just quickly, look quickly. Take another look. It's one of the most frantic moments of the day. The chair comes within inches of hitting our actor. Time to break things up before anyone gets hurt. Hey guys, I'm John Quinones. This is part of a TV show called What Would You Do? I've seen you on TV. Are you okay, sir? Well, I guess you'll know what I'll do. I'll take a chair and beat him with it if we have to. We wanted to see how people reacted down here. I saw some of it right now. I think they pretty much take care of each other down here. Does that say something about Jackson and the South, Dixie? Well, that we are friendly people and that we really enjoy taking care of each other and we're a nice, solid community, yeah. Wait a minute, you're not going to play that across the nation, are you? <laughs> <laughs> we don't really want people to know how good it is down here. Yeah. Oh. It's the best kept secret. <laughs> now, whether the thief was black or white, would Did, it have mattered? No, I wouldn't have cared. I'd have still hit him with a chair. <laughs> well, this is our actor. It's Gabriel. You know what saved you? What's that? I didn't want to miss and hit the car. Oh, <laughs> man, smart thing. <laughs> just like we saw in New York, it looks like our black actor just isn't going to get away with the crime. Now let's change things up and see what the reactions are when the white actor tries his hand. Not this one or this one? This one works? Perfect. Lauren pulls up right next to this group. No, I'm just running into uh, Babalu to grab the food.
They all notice the thief. And they're stunned. The whole thing happens right in front of their eyes, and in seconds, the thief is gone. This customer takes off to track down the thief. He's wearing a blue hoodie. He ran back there. We're right behind him as he finds Ben in a back alley. Uh, hey, 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 come here. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, sir. And sir, we sir. break the scene not a second too soon. What would, you, what would you do? Holy cow, I can't believe this. This is not even real. What did you see? Once he ran off really quickly, we were like, hold on, we ran in there, you know, I guess grabbed her. I mean, I don't, I'm no one special. Just, I would hope anyone would do that to me, so. So we run it one last time. Another diner in scrub sits down for lunch. And uh-oh, should we lock down the chairs? No, I'm just gonna run in and grab the, the food real quick. Here comes our thug. Stolen goods in hand, Ben makes his getaway. Some guy's what happened? Robbing her car. Greg Tisdale you, is right behind him. What? And Joshua Shirky just uh -huh. happened to be in the parking lot as our thief tried to make uh, his getaway. That's him, the guy in the hoodie's got your stuff. He heard the commotion and jumped right in. Well, yeah, let's go. All right, let's break it, right? Hello there, buddy. <laughs> I'm John Quinones. This is a TV show called What Would You Do? <laughs> Are you here? <laughs> yes, yes. Why step in? Why did I step in? Because I thought I was doing the right thing. That's right. Yeah. There's a lot of thugs around this area. So, you know, I grew up around here, so... Why wouldn't you help out? Why is it important that we look out for each other like this? Well, I think you just answered your own question. Because it's important that we look out for each other. It didn't matter whether the thief was black or white or... No. Why would it matter? The thief is a thief. So for Greg and Joshua, blowing the whistle on a thief was almost second nature. But they certainly weren't the only ones. We saw it over and over again with both our thieves. The good people of Jackson, Mississippi yelled out or jumped in the same number of times, whether the actor was black or white to catch a thief. And if you want the world to change, it's gotta start with one person. You know, and it, it's, you gotta be that example. If you want other people to see it and live by it, you don't go telling people what to do, you need to show them how to do it.